South Carolina on the road at Vanderbilt. Yeah, I think uh, Vandy at home, defense is going to rise to the occasion in the second half and win a close game. I'm going Vandy over South Carolina. Oh, yeah. What a good call because Vandy lost a heartbreaker at Notre Dame last week, yeah. and they will bounce back with a vengeance. Well done. Vandy, 2-12 and 12 all time against South Carolina. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Upset defensive I, game. I don't know what's a Vandy. bigger deal, that Vandy has made the pick segment the last two weeks. Or there's about to be four... <clears throat> Vandy's hey, down yeah. beneath me, which makes me incredibly <laughs> nervous. nervous. I'm going to go Vandy, but I don't like seeing those four Vs. <laughs> there, is, there is still time to get your money in on South Carolina. Somebody do that for me now. <laughs> Mississippi State and Kentucky. I tell you what, Kentucky, they off, their offense is rolling right now, but now they're about to hit the wall. Mississippi State wins this game in a close matchup. I like the Bulldogs. Well, though the Bulldogs should win, not so fast, my friend, yeah, yeah. because they'll still be riding high after beating Florida two weeks ago. Okay, oh. Mississippi State, physical game. Mississippi State. Man, I want to pick Kentucky here really bad because I think it. Terry Wilson's no, real deal with, nah. with Benny Snell. Nah. But yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll listen to you. And anyway. I'll, go, I'll, go, <laughs> I'll go very, very close. Mississippi State pulls away in the second half. I think Terry Wilson makes a critical turnover late in that game to secure a victory for the Bulldogs. All right, Florida and Tennessee. Uh, I'm going with Tennessee at home. I think their defense is going to make a play late, maybe even create a turnover. So I'm going with Tennessee in a close game. Yes, yes. Well, I mean, these are two storied uh, programs that have kind of lost their ways. Um, my mom's from Tennessee. My oh, mom. Oh, hell, there we go. So that deal. says it all. I got to go yeah. Tennessee. Come on. I live in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Cotter. Gators. Gators. Don't cover. All right. Don't cover. No, no. I'm, I'm going. I, I think this is a very low-scoring game. Uh, I'm going to go with Florida because yeah. I think their defense will find a way to get it done. So Gators in a close one. All right. Let's pick up the pace just a bit. Bam and Texas A&M. I don't even know why we picked this game. This, this game should well, be they like, yeah, one of the points. Well, I got Bama big. Bama, Bama, I got Bama, Bama big. Aggies look good this year. Nothing stopping the roll tide. Yeah. Bama closer than 26. I'm with you. I'm with you. I, pick this one I, I think this for at least a half. Is a competitive game because this A&M offense is for real with Jimbo Fisher. Don't be surprised at halftime. You're like, what the heck's going on with Bama? Then they pull away in the second half. All right, give me a quick pick on Kansas and Baylor. Kansas is hot. That's a tough one, but I'm going with Kansas, yeah, in a close game. Yeah, Jayhawks are playing as if their alum Ron Riggle is coaching them. They'll be 4-0 <laughs> after this one. Wow. No. Baylor has beaten Kansas eight straight times, make it nine. I think you guys disagree on every game so far. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like he's Needamite. He's listening. <laughs> yeah. right. I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going with Baylor. I'm going to go with uh, Matt Rule, getting it done. All right, Kansas State and West Virginia. I'm going with West Virginia. I think their defense is going to come up with some big plays, too. So I like the Mountaineers. West Virginia. There we go. Good pick. West Virginia. West Virginia. Will Greer, big <laughs> win today. All right, TCU in Texas, Des. I'm going Longhorns. I, got, I, like, I like the second half they had against USC. I'm going Longhorns. Yeah, after what they did to the Trojans last week, hook them, Horns. Mm -hmm. Texas is, TCU has beaten them four straight times mm. by an average of 30 points. Mm. Wow. Texas. Texas, Texas, Texas. Poor old TCU. I don't know how they're going <laughs> to yeah, somehow see. strap on those uniforms and make their way down <laughs> to Austin. <laughs> Give me TCU. Oh. Make it five in a row. Oh. For the Longhorns. I knew it. I knew it. I, those knuckles showing right there. All right, yeah, Stanford man. and Oregon. It's the one everybody here is waiting on since the Pac-12 split into divisions. Six of the seven years, either the Cardinal or the Ducks have played in the championship game. Winner, the main contender against Oregon in the North, the stakes, or against Washington in the North, stakes are high. A lot's at stake. Both teams are undefeated. Both teams are rolling. It's our first big test of the season. I think this is critical for taking the Pac-12 North to win this game. Set ourselves apart from the rest of the Pac-12. Pac-12 play is so much different, especially when it's in the division. With our first Pac-12 game, I love that it's Stanford. This is the team that we haven't been able to get over the hump. When you start off with a team that's not only undefeated, but also a top 10 football team, in our opinion, it's just like a playoff game. This is what you say. All right, are we getting everything squared away on this end? No call from Herbie because he's on the game tonight. Who wins it? Who wins Stanford or Oregon? I tell you, my biggest concern is Bryce Love and his health. I don't know how healthy he is. I don't know if he's going to be able to last through this game. And Justin Herbert, like I said, is probably the best quarterback west of the Mississippi. I got to go with the Oregon Ducks in this game tonight. You know, I got a conflict. My son's girlfriend goes to Stanford, but Oregon... Uh, University of Oregon is my home team, so I just want to say Ronald Reagan said win one for the Gipper. I got to say to Oregon, win one for the Otter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> oh, that was good. Not so fast, my friend. <laughs> Kind of funny. <laughs> it's great to be back here. I love this. Sweetheart, you know, this is one of my favorite places to come. It's your favorite. I mean, I, I, of all the places in the country, you and the duck, you guys have so many moments together. Yeah. You guys go way back. This is your favorite by far. It's my very favorite. Friend. The bear. How many times have I picked the ducks? 18 times. 18 times? Eight. And Bear. Hey, what, what, did, what did they do last week? Oh, they, they beat San, San Jose State, but they didn't cover that big I number. I was going to say, did they, what was the, what's the spread tonight, Bear? Uh, Stanford's a small favor, about two, two and a half points. Usually, oh. usually you go with the home dog, don't you? I always do. But this week, wait a minute. Look at that duck. Oh. Oh. Does that duck look very confident to you? No, no, I don't think so. I don't know. Give it to you. you. gotta go with it? Hey, I didn't come all this way. We came too far for you not to not pick this to pick duck. duck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Jesus. goodness gracious. <laughs> the duck is happy. We got a lot of duck right there. <laughs> Easy. We got him in a nice, yeah. safe position. LC, that's good. <laughs> that's good on the suit. Perfect. <laughs> Coming out the backside. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much for that suit. Woo! Hey, Tim Matheson, thank you so much. Hey, what you, a great you. time we thank had. So much. Look at the, look at the duck. <laughs> oh, we got a cape.